it's probably nervousness. Many of the seven starting pilots drive into the wall right after the start. Already after a few seconds occurs the first crash. Almost no team manages without the mistake shortly after the start. Not even Francesco Petella from the tenant team WHI, who is expected to win in the brain computer in the face race. Francesco is a real sportsman as a swimmer. He has already won two silver medals at Paralympic Games. And what's more, his team has a lot of competition experience. For example, they won the BCI series in Graz a year ago. So a lot can be expected from this team. And indeed, Francesco is fast on the move, makes the top four, but has trouble switching on the headlights. In the four given sectors with that yellow sign, this command never works. Luckily for him, not much time is wasted. Is it perhaps even tactics? Chi-Q Ma makes very active use of the headlight. She is the pilot of the Chinese team Phoenix from Hong Kong. Her use of the headlight is almost invasive. Even in the curves, she turns on the headlight. A wrong command that slows down the avatar. For this team, participating itself is most important. Four years ago, Chi Kyu Ma was hindered to get on the plane because of her wheelchair and therefore could not participate. This year she can, but she barely reaches the finish line of the 439 meters. The time is up. She lands on place 7. Speaking of headlights, this is also a challenge for Samuel Koons from the SEC FHT team. The command works well, but Samuel often turns on the headlights a bit too early. So he also loses important seconds. He makes it into the top four, even if he sometimes doesn't manage the corners at all. Owen Colomb, on the other hand, shows a perfect turn. He drives absolutely clean through corner 4. We have rarely seen such beautifully driven turns. Owen starts for the British team Neuroconcise from Northern Ireland, which already participated in the Cybertron four years ago. Back then it was just another game. But the experience doesn't help the team much today. Owen experiences a lot of trouble on the whole course. After 452 meters, his race is over. Not enough to reach the top four. He lands on place six, a disappointment for Owen. The new headlight command introduced this year, it is that big difficulty for many teams. Probably because this command is about reaction. The Thai team Mahidol BCI Lab with pilot Kriang Krai Takadi is also struggling. He often seems to give many orders at once. The avatar struggles. But he is fast. The Thai team qualifies for the top four. Who else can do it? Two experienced teams still have ambitions. One is team Mirage 91 from Austria. This team was already in 2016 and ended up on the last place, back then with pilot Gerhard Kleinhofer. This year is going well. Pilot Pascal Priedl masters especially the straight parts very well. He makes it to the finish line in a time of 3 minutes and 42 seconds. But too bad for him, it's not fast enough for the top four. So there is still the Russian team Neurobotics with pilot Ruslan Nurilin. This team was also part of the Cybertron four years ago and they benefit from their experience. Ruslan drives beautiful curves but sometimes has trouble with the headlight. He makes it into the top four. Here's the ranking. The Chinese and the British team didn't make it to the finish line and therefore didn't make it into the top four. The Austrian team makes it to the finish line, but its time is not fast enough. The top four pilots are in alphabetical order. Qualified are the favorite Francesco Betella, as well as Kirian Krai Takadi, Ruslan Nurulin and Samuel Kuntz. They all made it to the finish, but who was the fastest? 
but we can reveal this much, it was a thriller in which only a few seconds decided the victory.